And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the next fight of the evening, introducing first in the blue corner. He's coming from the Netherlands. Make some noise for Chiva Kwasi. Welterweight action at Via Kickboxing. Chico Kwasi set to take on Constantine Russo. Kwasi, 20 years old, has a professional record of seven and six, representing Mike's gym in the Netherlands. Before this matchup, Kwasi said, Russo's good, but I'm gonna be better. Very bold and confident prediction from Kwasi who has a, a huge height advantage over Rusu. 12 centimeters taller than Rusu, so this is really going to be a very interesting dynamic in this matchup because Rusu likes to use the ring and utilize a lot of movement. And he's going to have to, to be able to stay away from the long limb of Chico Kwasi. Chico Kwasi! And now introducing his opponent into the red corner. He's coming from Moldova. Make some noise for Konstantin Russo. Konstantin Russo, you can hear the roar of the audience here. A big fan favorite in Moldova and also the reigning KOK welterweight champion. A belt which he won this year, back in October, in Riga, Latvia. He won the World Grand Prix in March of this year to earn that title fight. Scheduled to face Zaur Javadov, but Javadov backed out of the fight just two days beforehand, and Rusu ended up being victorious over Alexei's Marijinhis. Russo, a very quick, very dynamic fighter inside the ring. He's 15, 2, and 1 in his career, so certainly not accustomed to losing. And he's uh, really been getting a lot of international experience in the last year or two. He's been fighting a lot in Russia. As I mentioned, he won the championship in Riga, Latvia. So he's really starting to come into his own right now. I really think that Konstantin Rusu is at the prime of his career at this point. He's starting to peak. This is a huge fight for him, and I think it could be one of, if not the biggest tests for him to date. Konstantin Rusu. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the blue corner. Weighing 77 kilograms, height 1.92 meters, having a personal record of 8 fights, 7 wins, and 6 losses. He's fighting for the Netherlands. Make some noise for Chigo Kwasi. And now, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the red corner. Weighing 77 kilograms, height 1.80 meters, having a personal record of 18 fights, 15 wins, 2 losses, and 1 draw. He's fighting for Moldova. Make some noise for Konstantin Russo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a super fight under 77 kilogram bout, a 3 minute, 3 round extra, 1 round K1 rules. Referee in the ring, Lupusor Dumitru. You can see it now, and you can certainly see it at the stare down in the center ring. There is for sure a 12 centimeter height differential between these two competitors. Konstantin Rusu of Moldova, the red tape on his gloves. Chico Kvase of the Netherlands with the blue. Look at the way Kvase stands in the ring. Rusu, as I mentioned, very quick 
fighter. Likes to utilize the whole ring. Uses lots of movement and uses a head kick. Rusu establishes himself right off the bat here, showing Kwase why he is the champion. Oh, yeah. Bring it. You can hear Rusu really laying into him. Great technique. He's got such snap on his kicks. Kwase's got those long arms, those long legs. When you're working against somebody as quick as Rusu, you're going to have to slow him down before those uh, punches and kicks can really be utilized to their full advantage. That could happen due to a, a big blow from Kwasi, or it could happen just over time. mentioned, Rusu did win a World Grand Prix tournament back in March for FIA. And in the finals, defeated uh, Doral Christian in what was one of the most incredible fights perhaps we've ever seen here in FIA. That was, a, that was really his coming out party, I think, uh, when, when he defeated Doral Christian. A lot of people thought that there was no way he would have a chance and that he was certainly the underdog going in but that was a that was the biggest victory of his career and now he has become the KOK welterweight champion and well, one would think that if Kwase could defeat him here that certainly he would throw his name in the hat in the list of potential uh, challengers for the title somewhere in 2019. I also know that uh, Constantino Nanga won a welterweight World Grand Prix in Tallinn, Estonia in October. So certainly he, if he's not the number one challenger for the title, he's one of them. It's my, it's my belief personally that if you do win a World Grand Prix, you should automatically no question about it, be the number one contender. And I'm not the math maker around here. Good first round between these two. Perhaps the most telling shot coming from Rusu with that head kick. Take another look at it. Well, if that was the head kick I'm thinking of, it really didn't land flush, did it? It was actually the right hand that, that did the job. And the, uh, the head kick kind of just knocked them back into the ropes. and round two underway here. Good body kick there by Rusu. Goes downstairs and another body kick. You can see some reddening already in the liver area of Kwasi. Whoa, my. That was a warning shot there to Rusu. Look how long the legs are too of Kwasi, he can hit you from halfway across the ring. Literally, he was standing right in center ring there and Rusu was like almost up against the ropes. And I still had a feeling that maybe he could connect. Rusu caught the leg that there that time and let him have it. And Kwasi can bouncing around the ring like a pinball. Rusu jabs downstairs, kick, inside low kick in return from Kwasi in and outside. Good hard body shot. Man, Rusu is really punishing the abdominal region of Kwasi in this fight. Overhand left scores from the champ. 
A lot of good fighters from the Netherlands on the card here tonight. Fighters from both Mike's gym, where Kwasi <laughs> represents and trains. Oh my! Head kick clobbered him right in the side of the cranium. Also fighters from Hemmer's gym as well on the card. One minute now and some change remaining on the clock in round number two. And again, a very high paced, action packed fight. Oh my! You can feel that one. The reverberations sending chills down the spine that time of Rusu. Here's another big kick from Kwasi. Big clubbing right hand that time from Rusu. Oh, and a one-two from Kwasi really backed up the champ. This, of course, a non-title fight. Just a three rounds of three minutes uh, super fight here between these two. Oh my, Rusu ducked under and clobbered him with the left. Here comes Kwasi now. End of round two. What a great matchup this is turning out to be. Both Rusu and Kwasi really got in their licks in round number two. Well, I know that Konstantin Rusu is always in fantastic cardiovascular condition, and he's gonna need to be, because he's set a precedent for himself. He set a standard of movement and different looks and veins and slipping and sliding and always in unpredictable angles and such. I think if he slows down at all here, it's gonna to be to the advantage round of Kwasi. Let's round. see what happens here in this third and final round. Back and forth action continues here. Low kick lands south of the hip. Doing a head kick upstairs from Rusu. Good extension on the leg. Rusu always bobbing and weaving. Good uppercut by the Dutchman. So much action here between these two. Rusu goes downstairs again. Low kick by Kwasi. He's been using that low kick at a distance over the course of this contest. Tries to come in with a push kick, but Rusu already changing his position in the ring before it lands. Fisted shot there, almost like a rabbit punch to the back of the neck, but was, wasn't completely behind the head. Kick gets caught. Rusu goes downstairs as the action spills into the corner. Strong head kick there, taken on the gloves, but that's the kind of shot you feel it regardless. Oh, and there may have been a, a headbutt there as he came in. He may have caught him under the chin with the head. Right hand connects from Kwasi.
chanting Konstan for Konstantin Rusu. Always a lot of support for all these fighters uh, from the Lion Club. Whenever the, the Lion Club is fighting here, which is every event, then they, they bring a whole army of uh, trainees and supporters and family members and everybody. And it really, I think it does a lot to motivate their fighters and maybe as a part of why the Lion Club has so many successful fighters. Masi raising his hand, satisfied with his performance. A great fight here at FIA kickboxing in the welterweight division. President Dora Damir nodding his head in approval. Hard fight from both guys. Take a look at some action here from round number three. Lots of back and forth fighting here between these two. Ring announcer Mike Diamonds has, has not made his way into the FIA ring yet. And so we'll have to wait for the official decision. Konstantin Rusu, the current KOK welterweight champion, Chico Kvase. The youngster, the up and comer, very talented fighter, trying to make a name for himself. A big opportunity here at FIA Kickboxing. Did he do enough? Or will the champion get his hand raised again and remain undefeated in 2018? Mike Diamonds is now entering the ring and we will find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is for the red corner, Konstantin Russo. Well, I have no idea what kind of a decision that was, but uh, it's a decision nonetheless. Konstantin Russo, undefeated in 2018, 6-0. Oh.